Welcome back guys, this is Jason, KM4ACK. Today I want to feature another portable setup, this one by WD8WV. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Okay, so first up here, we've got the bag that he's putting everything in, and that is a 511 tactical bag. And guys, I'll try to leave links down below to as much of the items uh, that I can find in case you're interested in grabbing one for yourself. But this is the 511 bag, and he says it houses all of his gear, excluding uh, this antenna that you see down here in the bottom. Now this next image here is a closer look at that antenna, and this is a homebrew design. Uh, he calls it a Wolf River Coil clone antenna that he built himself. And uh, in addition to the coil, he runs a 102-inch telescopic whip along with some radials underneath it that we'll see here in just a few minutes. As we start to open up the bag, you can see the radio down in there. Uh, that's going to be the Yezu 817. And then this little portable MFJ tuner. That's a 971. Uh, pretty cool little tuner. I've got one similar to it, but mine doesn't have uh, the needles on it. So great, uh, great help here when you're getting ready to tune your rig. Uh, he also keeps an automatic tuner, and he mentioned in the email that sometimes the automatic tuner just won't quite get the job done, so he likes to carry the manual tuner as well. We can also see the signal link there. Looks like some sort of multi-tool down in the pocket. And then up here we've got, uh, looks like a rubber duck antenna, maybe for the 817 and a notepad as well. After we remove the signal link and the tuner, you can see that he's got some coax tucked down in there underneath it, and also some uh, manuals for various pieces of equipment that he carries with him. Opening the bag up a little further, you can see uh, the signal link and the various cables that he uses with the setup. Now, this image shows uh, both the bio Inno, uh 4.5 amp hour battery. He also mentions that he keeps another SLA battery, uh, 7 amp hour, tucked down in the bag as well, although we don't have an image of that. And something that I really like and highly recommend is this meter here. Now, I've used one uh, called the What's Up meter, but these things are really invaluable when you start trying to figure out uh, how much power you've consumed off of the battery. The lithium iron phosphate batteries, you can't really check voltage on it like you could with SLA batteries to know how much you've got left. Because the discharge curve drops so severely at the end, it pretty much stays around 12, 12 and a half volts until the very end and then it's just a cliff dive so it's hard to know really how much power you've pulled out of that battery without having a meter such as this a closer look at a few of the components uh, both of the tuners the battery the battery meter we were just talking about and uh, you can kind of see the radio sitting off over there to the right hand side in this image, you get a much better view of the radio. And one of the things I like and highly recommend, especially if you're going to work portable quite a bit, is some sort of protection for your radio. In this case, he's using the Portable Zero rails, and uh, I'm a big fan of these rails. Also down uh, right here, you can see that he's got several different uh, adapters for uh, adapting different types of connectors. So another handy item to have with you. In addition to the Wolf River coil clone antenna, he also has this 9 to 1 unun. The red wire that you see here is the radiating element for the unun, and then the black wire over on the right is the counterpoise. In addition to that, he also has a sinker wrapped with some mason line, and he uses that if he needs to get wire up into the tree. So he can take this 9 to 1, set it on the ground, take the other end of uh, the radiating element, and put it up in a tree and run it in a sloper configuration. Jumping back to the Wolf River Coil clone antenna, you'll see right up here at the top, and we'll got another shot of this coming up in a minute, but this is the base for the antenna and some of the coax, and we'll show you a little bit better how this uh, connects up with the radials. 
And here's that closer look at the base. And it looks like he's just mounting this on some sort of a piece of pipe that he's driven into the ground. Uh, you can see that the antenna screws onto the base right here. And then the three 33-foot radials are attached to the base plate. Finally here, we've got a great shot of everything that he's using in the setup all put together and configured. Looks like he's ready to operate some FT8. You also notice that the Raspberry Pi is sitting on top of the signal link. And last but not least is the Soda Beams compressor that he hooks up between the microphone and the 817. So there's a look at an outstanding portable setup by WD8WV. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.